Hey everybody, Mr. Miola here, and welcome back to Pixark on the Alpha Tribe server. Check it. Whoa, hold on a second. <laughs> What's going on here? I think we're in the middle of a, a weather event, like a windstorm or something. My god, the wind is flowing. And it looks like it actually slows you down. You can't run into the wind, but you can run with the wind. Oh my god, look how fast it makes you. That's crazy. Oh my god, I've, I've never seen this before. This is insane. So what? Running into the wind. Yeah, it's like resisting you. And then when you run with it, that is insane. Look at those speeds that you get. How about like when you run alongside? So that's like normal running. Super fast running. And then very, very slow on the way back. Look at that. We're literally like crawling pace right now. We're barely moving. <laughs> ah, running into the wind. Lucky I got legs of steel. Oh my God, look at this. You can like jump. Hold on. If I jump. Oh, I thought maybe it'd like send me backwards. That would be cool. That would be really cool if it did that. But uh, welcome back, welcome back. Since last episode, a lot has changed around our little server starting area, whatever you want to call this, the Alpha Tribe spawn point. Um, I actually logged in late last night, and it turns out that I was dead, and I'd lost all of my items. So I had to respawn a bunch of them. So I had to recraft a bunch of them. That is why I currently have no clothes on. I forgot to make my armor, but that's all good. It's cheap. Um, but I have been a little bit busy since then. I have been collecting a bunch of resources. I completed my very first quest, which is to craft a stone pickaxe, which actually works quite well with the whole, the bug that deleted all of my items because I had to craft another one anyway. So we completed that. We got a chest. We got some uh, firestone powder. We got some bone ash and we got something else. This here, a privilege certificate, which I don't really know what it is, but something about soil privileges. Wadevskis. Over here, though, we uh, we got ourselves a lot of wood, a bunch of stone, a bunch of other resources, so that should be enough to keep us going for a little while. And a lot of leather. Yeah, a lot of leather. And then we just got, like, saddles and whatnot over here. This is where I'm leaving my inventory when I log out now, because, yeah, I... Don't really want to risk losing all of my stuff over and over and over again. Um, but I have noticed some people have been really busy around the server. Um, a lot of bases are coming up. This one here looks incredible. By the way, check it out. We no longer have a sauropod on our base. He destroyed our dinosaurs and he moved on to Schism. So I hope, I hope Schism knows what's coming his way. Um, his dinosaurs... You know, may get caught in the crossfire of this sauropod and whatever he decides to stomp on today. Um, anyways, yeah, bases are popping up. Check this here out. I love what he's doing. Um, he's got his little house up here, stone house. There he is inside the window. Um, but he's got these little footpaths here and they kind of like roam around to different like crafting points. He's got his DIY hut. He's got his uh, decoration hut and a little crafting table over here. Workbench, which I haven't actually crossed paths with yet. A flame feather costume for an Argent. Oh, wait, what's it for? Oh, it's a costume. Oh, it's a shirt. Oh, I gotcha. You can make shields, turtle shell shield. Anyway, yeah, you can make a bunch of cool stuff in these. Um, I like it. I was thinking of maybe getting our own little footpath and leading that down here to connect up with uh, Schism's thing. But I don't know if he's building the. Oh, and a furnace as well, smelter. I don't know if he's doing this for the community or his own little kind of... Uh, lot here but i might need to have a chat to him and see if we want to connect everything together and then over here we have i think it's that german guy's base um which is awesome as well it is huge he's been really really busy um he's got a compost thing but what's this decoration hut and a diy as well and then inside of here oh it's big it's it, it's amazing i don't know how much time he put into this but i feel like i really gotta lift my game because i'm letting myself down and then he's got a staircase going to the roof as well so that's cool. And over there we have, I think that's D, uh, I think that's King Daddy D Max space. It looks like he's kind of, oh, he's built a bridge. Well, like a bit of a road. Oh, that's cool. Check that out. Oh, nice. I don't have to like <laughs> fall into this ditch anymore. Nice. This is perfect. So he's got a little bit of a road. It looks like he's tamed himself with track and a bunch of other dinosaurs in there, but I don't want to go and uh, explore just in case, you know, there's some secrets inside. I don't want to go spoiling them secrets. But today, I want to expand our base a little bit, as well as hopefully tame ourselves. Oh, and he's got a sauropod on his base too. So right now, we're like the only house without a sauropod chilling on top of it. So that's nice. It's very, very nice. Um, but what I'd love to do today is hopefully get myself another Tyrannodon. Um, we unfortunately lost him. Or her. Can't remember if it was a him or a her. We lost our Tyranodon and our Fiomia last episode due to unforeseen means. And it looks like we've got a little bit of a mine going on down there. 
Um, and it looks like the windstorm's died down as well now. Unfortunately, though, I don't see any Tyrannus. Oh, 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 I take that back. Level 25 all the way up there. Problem is, we have a Shadow Leopard. And we know those guys are trouble. So, I tell you what, if we see a Pteranodon come all the way down here, then I will I will try and tame it. But I ain't going over into the little shadow realm over there to, to bother with it, because it's probably not going to end too well. But let's get building. So, I was thinking that we should uh, check out these engrams and see what we can learn. We've got a lot of stone, so I guess we could, like, actually start building with stone if we really wanted to. But I also like the idea of, like, a, a, a stone and wood combination. It's a little bit cheaper as well. Um, we can get, so, you know what, let's learn a bunch of these things. Cooking pots, wooden tables. Hey, we're gonna need a, ooh. We're gonna need a little, like, wall sign to throw on our base as well. We've got plenty of engram points. Decoration hut, DIY hut. Uh, what else have we got? Dragon skin carpet, I want one of those. Hold on a second. I think we can actually craft that. It's just fiber and fur. We can craft one of those. But we've got no reason to right now. Oh, and we can get a shot. Okay, never mind. We'll get to that eventually. A magic carpet. I wonder if it can fly. Never mind. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. A guidepost. When you explore caves, place the post on the ground to show the way back. That's actually a really cool idea. A tailor workbench. We're going to need one of those. Oh, that lets us get all of our helmets. Of course, we've used that in the past. A bed as well. Um, a die. Oh, there's a lot of workbenches. All right. Oh, and a water bag. We do need one of these. This is urgent because we're currently running out of water. Um, so what do I need to get that exactly? Because I want to craft that right away before we need it. Where's my workbench at? Not the workbench. Where's the, uh, where's the water thing? Hello? Little water bag. All right, now I'm confused. There it is. <laughs> Four leather and 12 fiber. We should have both of those. Uh, 12 fiber. That's 10 and 12. And then let's just grab five. Wait, leather? Was it leather that I needed? Or not. Yep, there we go. Sweet! There we go! We'll get ourselves a water bag and we can go fill that up. And it's gonna keep us stacked up with water. So, we don't need to keep on running all the way over here to the pond every five minutes to get a nice fresh top up of water. And someone's also set up a bit of a piping system here too. And a dye workbench, so that's cool. Alright, well, that's a- uh, Oh! Oh look, I'll just, uh, I'll switch mine out for someone else's. Done! Fantastic! Woohoo! Nice! Well, oh, and you know what? While I'm here, while I'm here, we may as well just get a drink. There we go. So we topped up on water. We'll get ourselves a bit of a water bag. Bada bim, bada boom, we are done. All right, so what are we going to be doing to this base? I think it's going to be a little bit wider. I don't know if we should move it down a little bit closer to everybody else. I feel like we're kind of like a loner up here. But then again, we could be like the little house up on the hill. All right, so uh, we were just looking at our stone items, weren't we? All the way down here. Well, that's what we were about to do anyways. Clay stairs. I don't even know how to make clay, so maybe we'll hold off on that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I also want to get myself a spark, not a spark thing, a preserving bin so we can keep our food going a little bit longer. That'll be handy, but in good time. All right, let's get ourselves a stone door, stone floor, stone wall, stone window, uh, stone ceiling. Why not? Uh, what else can we get? Fishing rods, candle helmets, stone water taps, a bunch of saddles and stuff, a simple mask. Oh, yeah, yeah, we looked at that. We looked at that. That's all good. Dino tracker ammo. So we can, uh, we can track dinosaurs by shooting them with a, a dinosaur tracker, I think? And then we can track where they're going with a dino tracker. A glider? What? I feel like I need one of these. A simple hang glider. Use it to, air uh, use it to glide like a bird. Okay, what do I need? 20 wood. 20 uh, fiber and 10 leather. Oh, you bet I'm gonna make one of these right now. All right, let's get 10 of that. 10 of this wood. And 10 fiber. Lucky I collected all of this stuff because I do not want to go crafting this every five seconds. Bam, we got ourselves a glider. I don't know how this works. I don't know if it's equipable or how it's gonna work. Uh, there it is. Is it reusable? All right, let's have a look, ready, go. Oh, that is nuts! That is so good. I guess that when you're in like a really high position, that's gonna come in really, really handy. At least it's reusable. That's what I was worried about. I wasn't sure if we'd uh, if we'd get it back and be able to use it over and over and over again. Okay, let's keep on going down here. We got parachutes and stuff. Meh, we don't need that right now. Oh, and we got to level 20, which means we've unlocked the metallurgy stage, which means we can get ourselves a smelter. We can actually craft one of these right now. The only thing is I don't have any ingots, so. 
I, well, yeah, or not any ingots. I don't have any ore, so we might need to collect some of that or go looking for some of that. Or some oil to get gasoline, glass. Oh, there's a lot of cool things we can do. And then, oh, in a couple more levels time, we can get ourselves copper pickaxes and stuff like that. So that's where we want to be aiming for. I don't know if we'll get there today, but hopefully we do. In the meantime, though, let's go ahead and craft ourselves some building materials. So I want to not open that chest. I want to open this one here. I want to get my shelf a little bit of stone, a little bit of wood. And that should be enough to get ourselves some walls, I would think. Can I get stone walls? We can. How many? 45? Hmm. You know what? I feel like we'll use them all. Yep, 45 it is. And we're also going to get ourselves... Let's just get a bunch of this wood. I think I'm going to make myself some... Oh, and we lost all of our wood foundations that we crafted as well. I completely forgot about that. So that's really disappointing, but it is what it is. The game is in early access, so you got to, like... You got to expect this sort of stuff. Anyways, let's get ourselves... 50 wooden foundations. I think I want to get myself a bunch of stone ones too. And then we can draw like little patterns on the floor or something like that. Um, which one? Stone wall? Stone floor. That's the one I'm looking for. I like that it's just one rock per piece as well. So, yeah, you know exactly what you're getting. You're not like burning a lot of resources for a couple foundations. We're going to go through all of our resources today. I just know it. All right. So, our foundations. This one here. Let's get like let's get about 20 uh, 36 all right that's a good start i think okay so where about should i be building this should we like demolish this and start again should we move a little bit further down i think this spot here actually looks really nice it's like square it's kind of like predetermined just waiting for us to build here or we could build a little bit further down here and it kind of like matches up with everyone else quite nicely too I think this is going to be my little building spot. All right. But do we want to build? Yeah, I want to build like a little bit elevated. All right. Well, let me get like a nice... Oh, hold on. Did I see a Tyranodon just flying around? Oh, look. King Daddy D-Max still on the server too. Um, I swear I saw something flying around. It might have just been the sauropod's tail. All right. Let's go. We got a level to throw down. I'm throwing it up to damage. I want to get that up. I want to be able to like hold my own. Oh, there he is. It's only level seven though. That other one was a 25, and then we came across like a 50 last episode as well. Ah, what do I do? I really want to knock out a Pteranodon, just so we can like tame it while we're doing our thing. And I kind of don't want to go up there because T-Rexes and etc, etc. Maybe I'll have a quick little peek up here, just to see. Just to see what's hiding up here. Do we have anything? Anything nice? Oh god, we got a thunderstorm coming in. That's not quite ideal. Oh, it's a lightning storm, not just any kind of storm. All right, that's all good. Nothing going on up here. No Tyranodons. <laughs> Looks like someone's gone and I tamed them all. No! My glider! What? What? <laughs> Why was my glider not in my seventh spot of my hotbar? Where is it? Oh, at least we're spawning like right on top of our items. What happened? Something went severely wrong just then. That is um, quite embarrassing, to say the least. Let me go and get that back. Let me go. Where's my glider? Wait, seriously, where's my glider? Can you only use the glider once? Did I misread this situation completely? Oh, no. Really? I thought I... Did I drop it in an... Hold on. It's not in one of my chests in my base, is it? Now I'm really confused. I could have sworn... That I had my glider back after using it. Or is it only a one-time use? It can't be- Whoa, whoa! Why is there a kangaroo down here? You're not meant to be down here. This isn't- This isn't where you're from. Alright, no glider in there. No glider in there. No glider. And there's not gonna be one in this one either. Okay, I am officially really confused. I don't understand. Maybe you're gonna be my guy. You know what? Stuff it. You're good enough. Come here, little guy. In the face. Booyah, baby. Unconscious, just like that. And I don't think I've got any meat, though, do I? I gotta go and kill something. There was a dodo just chilling over here. So where's he gone? It's really dark for like 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, okay. There was a little dodo. There he is. Sorry, buddy. I know these, these lands are quite empty right now, but... It is what it is, I'm afraid. Thank you very much for your 
kindness. Your, <laughs> your leather and meat. All right, where's my boy? There he is. Level seven. It's a start. Hopefully this one actually gets to survive the episode. I think I'm quickly earning the reputation amongst pretty much every game I play of being the guy that just kills off all of his dinosaurs, all of his creatures, all of his tames. It's not just this game, it's Ark as well. I have horrible, horrible, <laughs> I, got, I got a really bad track record. All right, well, let's go. We're going to dig ourselves a bit of a, a bit of a hole to build in, I think. Do I like this spot? I don't even know if I like this spot. I was going to build on top of this, wasn't I? Alright, you know what? I'm going to build on top of it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. we got some dirt backed up in here. 54 of it to be exact. There we go. Am I pressing the wrong buttons? I'm getting confused. Alright. Show. Instead of digging this all up, I want to fill it all in. And as you can see, there's a little bit of delay when I click. Just the fun part of playing online. If you're Australian, you know what I'm talking about. It's one of those things you just gotta live with. All right, we've gone and filled in our whole little patch right here. Um, just get clearing some of this grass out the way. I like it. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely where we're gonna be building. Um, I think I'm gonna demolish a little bit more of this dirt just around this area, just to give us a little bit more space to build with. Just these two blocks right here, maybe three. Just to spread out the space a little bit because I don't want to build too small our other house is just way too small it was more just to like see us through the night so that we didn't die but we ended up dying anyway because service be buggy baby service be buggy all right I like this this is our little this is our little plot right here perfect I'm still tempted to like redig this hole out the ground because I kind of like where it's at but nope we're not doing that let's go so this is no which one's the stone flooring now that's a stone wall. Which one's a stone flooring? That's a stone floor. That's just regular stone. All right, so we're going to start out by doing a bit of a... Hmm. Then we're going to do a bit of a, like a... Um, just kind of like a, a perimeter. Are these... Wait, are these, is it, is, that's not the stone floor, is it? Stone floor. Stone wall. Rock. Is that what a stone floor looks like? I thought it... Wait. Now... Oh, wait, no. Hold on. Eight. Oh! What am I using then? Now I'm really confused. That's stone floor. That's stone wall. No. Hold on. That's stone ceiling? <laughs> um, that's stone stairs. That's stone wall. You don't have any stone floors. I'm just trying to work you out. Okay. I guess, I guess that's stone floor. That's a stone foundation. Interesting. All right. Fair enough. Well, let's keep going. I don't know how wide we're going to be able to go, but 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's kind of wide enough, I think. I think that's going to I think that's gonna just about do the job. Um, I might go... You know what? I should get myself a doorway. Do I have what we need to get ourselves? A stone doorway. Because I definitely want one of them. Yep, there we go. I also want to learn the stone window as well. Clay window? Stone window. Okay, we've already learned the window. Um, which one's the window? There we go. Let's get two of those. And then I think we're also going to do a lot of the walls simply... Oh, I should check my Tyranodon. We're going to do a lot of the walls with uh, with wood as well. Um, there he is. How you doing there, buddy? He's still... Oh, yep, yeah, he's still unconscious. He's got a little bit more food to eat, so... He doesn't need urgent attention just yet. Well, let's go. we got a door to place down. So, the middle point. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think right these two right here. So, rotate it. I don't know what the difference is. But that'll do, right? Looks pretty good to me, I think. Um, now, do we get tricky with it? Do we get a little bit three-dimensional with it or not? Hmm. Hmm. I'm just trying to think how we could actually do that if we wanted to. Because I kind of... I don't really like just two-dimensional buildings. I don't like a little square house. I kind of get like to get a little bit creative with it. I'm assuming a window will go there. Or... Better idea. Better idea. What if I bring it up this way a little bit? Like that. Okay. Uh, just the one? Just the one would do, I think. I got an idea. Alright. 
Let's get those up. Like that. Is that enough of a difference? Yeah, I think we're working it out. Four like that. Bring it back in like that. Okay. So, one there, one there. Pick you up. Two, three, four. And bring it back in. Okay, so now we've got these tiny, tiny little nooks here. We can place some, you know what? We can place a window in there. That's what we're going to do. Window goes right there. Window goes right there. Fantastic. And obviously, this is going to be flooring. We're going to raise this up one more block. Oh, wait a second. But if we raise it up one more time, then these are going to sit one more. Anyways, we'll get to, we'll get there. We'll get there. It's all good. Uh, we still got a lot of floor to place. Oh, I just placed, oh, I created another doorway. What am I doing? It's all good. All right. Three. Is that three? Four, five, one, two, three, four, and five. I should really get some, uh, should really get some lights going in here. I had a lot of suggestions to use a firefly. Apparently, you can tame a fly firefly, put on your shoulder, and it kind of keeps the place a little bit more lit up. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like we've got any creatures around. So it is what it is. All right, let's keep going. Six, seven, eight. Six. Just want to keep it. Oh, no, I've run out of floors. Can I make more of them? Uh, where is that stone flooring? That one there. All right, let's get like another 20. I kind of uh, underestimated how many of these that we're actually going to need. The worst thing is as well, the walls are going to like be on top of these. So you're not even going to see this flooring. I have no idea why I'm using this floor. But it's all good. Okay. I reckon that's going to be long enough. So we're going to go one, two, three, and four. One two, three, and four, and bring it back in a little bit, and that's going to be our little doorway again, and we're going to have to dig a couple of these blocks up. Looks like I didn't dig enough of this dirt out the way. We've gone a little bit bigger than I'd expected. All right, now right, let's finish that off, and there we go. We've got ourselves a bit of a perimeter. We've also got ourselves this second door that we crafted. So we might as well go and throw that there. And there we go. We've got ourselves the foundations of a pretty cool looking base, I think. I think it looks really nice. It's like not too big. It should be just enough. Just big enough to, I guess, fill up with everything that we're going to need. Now, the question is, how do these walls look? No, I didn't want to make another foundation. I want to see what a um, what the stone walls look like. I don't even know where to place them. Like that, I think. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's throw you there. One, two, and... Oh! My Tyranodon! Yeah! Alright, nice. There we go. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Alright, sweet. Let's go get that saddle. Because he's gonna come in handy. I'm tempted to, like, take him straight out and get ourselves a Firefly. I don't know if I can carry all this weight that I got on me right now, though. Alright, where are you, mate? And he's going to need a name. Now, I'm giving you guys... I'm, I'm putting this in your hands, guys. I need a name for him. He needs a name. This time, I'm going to make sure he survives the episode so he actually gets to have a name. So make sure to let me know down below in the comments if you got any suggestions for what we can name this fella. Um, I was hoping to find a firefly nearby, but... Oh, there's another Tranodon as well. Do you reckon he's a higher level than this guy? Oh, there's a lot of... Wow. Are they werewolves? I think there's werewolves over there. All right. Oh, it's level 24. It's so much higher than what we've got. And how about you? A level one? <laughs> oh, a little baby level one to round it on. Oh, I will annoy him. Whoa, what's going on over there? Oh, no, that's just the, uh, that's just the mission thing. It's all good. It was like firing out all sparks and stuff. I was like, what is going on? All right. Well, let's keep on uh, building our base up, I suppose. There we go. I feel like you should have made it a little bit bigger, but it'll do. All right, you can sit down, buddy. Sit down. Not there. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to build here, mate. Get out the way. What you doing? Can I? Can I even pick? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Bah. There he goes. Good boy. And he kind of like launched us up on top of the door frame as well, so that's extra handy. Sweet. There we are. All right, so all in all, it's all looking really, really nicely. I think our next step is going to be to place down some of these wooden floors. We've got 50 of these to place down. Um, and I was thinking of kind of placing... Wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. It didn't let me place it for a second. I got worried. I'm going to start off by doing a little bit of a lap around the flooring here. Kind of like this. I can wrap it all the way around. I don't even know if we're going to make it. 
all the way around. We're going to need a lot more flooring. I think of all the wood that I collected, we might still not have enough, which is going to be disappointing. Wow. I didn't even make it around like one layer. One, two, three, and four. Okay. So. Not looking too bad. Not looking too bad. Um, we're definitely going to need more of those though. So. How many more can I get with what I have on me? Oh, another hundred. All right. Well, let's just get another like. Let's get 60 of those for now. <laughs> uh, how are we going to do this? I'm just trying to think. I'm just trying to think. I think a lot of the flooring is just going to be wood, to be honest. Let's just keep it simple. No need to get, like, overcomplicated with it. A nice, good, solid wood floor is all you need. So that 60 didn't get us very far. We're going to need a lot more of those. Um, where, where are they? I seem to have misplaced my ability to craft them. There they go. All right, another 42. You know what? <laughs> We're going to need them all because we still got a lot of flooring to fill in right here. I'm starting to think as well that I should have used uh, wooden flooring for this outer rim and then used the stone on the inside a little bit, purely because I'm probably going to go and circle all of this in dirt anyways. So I'm kind of contemplating whether or not I'm going to go and pull all of that up still. Uh, but for now, let's just get this wooden flooring down. It doesn't have to be perfect. We can always make changes to it afterwards. All right, guys. And on that note, our house is just about complete. Well, at least like three layers of it, but I like the way it turned out. I've gone for like this little bit of a, a stone kind of borderline. We've got the wooden floor. We've got a bit of wooden wall going on. Oh, look, it's not the most perfect build. I'll admit that, but I kind of like it. And I think once we fill it up with a bunch of, uh, I don't know, tables or just whatever goes inside of our house i think it's going to come together quite nicely and tie it all together i think we're definitely going to throw some more windows in here or at least before we get glass because i wouldn't mind using some glass or some big old windows through this thing as well um but i think all in all it came together quite nicely and at least for now it's also gonna act as a little bit of protection for our Tyranidon here, who, like I said earlier, still has no name. So make sure that you leave a comment down below in the comment section what we're going to call that Tyranidon. I'm leaving it up to you guys. You need to let me know. Um, and on that note, I think we're just about done here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs ups. And I'll catch you guys in the next one very, very soon. Bye for now.